Come on, come on now, touch me, babe. Can't you see that I am not afraid? What was that promise that she said? Won't you tell me what she said? Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. So, uh, Gab is, Gab is offline, man. I was pretty shocked to see this, you know, obviously, um, they're in the news because the person, um, Bowers, goodness gracious, I already forgot his first name. The man who shot, shot and killed 11 people, injured, I think six others at the uh, synagogue in Pittsburgh, the Tree Life Synagogue. He was a avid member of Gab. In fact, he had a check mark. You know, and somebody brought this up in the comments, but I think you you pay for that check mark. Basically, they're not. It's just you get verified and you get other advanced features with the plat, you know, and you uh, get a check mark. So it's not as though you're. Uh, I don't know, um, but they're uh, they're they're like suspended, which is kind of weird. It's almost exactly like what's going on with with Alex Jones, where they're being, uh, you know deplatformed from all the other places where you can get their content, but they're their own platform. That's what kind of had me confused. But I mean, basically the hosting services and all the different companies that supplement the process of being, uh, being online are, are pulling away from, them, you know, and it just goes through one provider after another, but like the cloud where they're being hosted. I mean, I guess that their website's down, you know, but, ha but they have this. So, I don't know. I guess, you know, I guess their platform is so big that uh, they need like, you know, a robust um, service to, 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 you know, to host them, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So, but they're down, you know, and my guess is they will be, um, it'll be hard for them to come back from this. Alex Jones, you know, he remains you know, a factor, but I'm fairly certain that, uh, and I, you know, I, I like Alex Jones for the most part. I mean, there's times, you know, there's a, you know, lots of different stuff, but I mean, that's, I don't know. I don't hate, I don't hate them. And there's stuff, some stuff I think is hilarious and I'm not that offended by stuff. I don't know, dude. I, I mean, I, there's a lot of, there's a lot of pretty, pretty extreme stuff on Gab. There is. Okay. And, uh, you know, um, people will call it alt right and stuff like that, but, but I don't know. I don't know that you could. I mean, by that same metric, you could you could ban anybody. You know, any any any. I mean, not anybody. I mean, you could ban Google. You know, I mean, because there's people on Google. I mean, there's people that you know host websites. So why can't you just? Why wouldn't they do that? Obviously, they're not going to do that. So. It doesn't matter. It, it does. I mean, you know, the purity of the argument is 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 does not matter. And um, I'll, I'm going to tell you where I, where I think this all comes down to. It really does, and it comes down to a movie that I that's not even like a super awesome. It's a pretty good movie with Nicolas Cage, Lord of War. It all comes down to one thing that was said in that movie that just kind of stuck with me when it was said. And it's almost the way things are. It's just the way it is. And it was really, to me, profound. I'll tell you at the very end, man. I'll tell you at the end. I'll just quickly, I was shocked to see this in the CNN article. But it's everywhere, you know, uh, Gab site where synagogue shooting suspect posted is suspended. I mean, what does that mean? I don't, I don't mean, I'm not being like obtuse. I don't know. Suspended from whom? You know, it's just so basically it's just all the companies that provide services that allow you to be an online presence are pulling away from them. So they're not really like suspended. There's no authority that suspends them. And I don't think Google, Google doesn't host things. They're just a search. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, let's, let's just go. So Gab has been taken offline following revelations that the suspected Pittsburgh synagogue gunman used the social network to threaten Jewish people. Uh, a statement on the platform website Monday said it would be inaccessible for a period of time after several web hosting services declined it declined its business. All right, that's that's basically the 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 main thing of it right there. A statement on the platform's website Monday. Monday said it would be inaccessible for a period of time after several web hosting services declined its business. Gab said it, it has also been re removed from app stores and refused service by payment processing firms, PayPal, and others. Gab is under attack, the company said in a statement. The statement says, let's just quickly go through that. Gab is under attack. We have been systematically no-platformed by app stores. Multiple hosting services. 
uh, hosting providers and several payment processors. We have been smeared by the mainstream media for defending free ex expression and individual liberty for all people and for all working for, for working with law enforcement to ensure that justice is served for the horrible atrocity committed in Pittsburgh. Gab will continue to fight for the fundamental human rights, the right to speak freely as we transition to a new hosting provider. Gab will be inaccessible for a period of time. We are working around the clock to get Gab back online. Thank you. Remember to speak freely. I'm sure they will find somebody, you know, um, it's just, it's just the, the it, you know, as a practical matter, and this is what's happening to Alex Jones, is that, um, you know, it, uh, they can do this, you know, at least until, until, some, some, until, some, until, some, until some legislative body intervenes, you know, and it's just these, these companies are so big and so rich that they can just uh, pretty much destroy anybody. You know, I'm not like some huge Gab fan either, but I, I, you know, uh, I've seen the owner, you know, or the founder, you know, live stream and stuff like that. And, uh, he seems like a pretty rational person. And, um, I know there's a lot of nasty stuff on there though. There is, there is, but it doesn't, that doesn't mean, you know, let it be, man. I'm telling you, people are smart though, though they can make up their own minds. What is bad? I mean, I did. You know, I don't think that they had anything to do with the this attack. You know, I just don't feel that way. I mean, the guy's just a crazy, you know, crazy sicko. You know, so all right. So Gab is under attack. Uh, Gab is under attack. We have systematically been no platform. I just read their, their their statement. The platform has come under scrutiny after it emerged the suspected gunman Robert Bowers. Robert Bowers uh, frequently targeted Jew, Jewish people, Jews, and and his Gab post and even logged onto the platform shortly before allegedly killing um, killing eleven people at the Tree of Life synagogue. And I'm sure this is there's going to be repercussions for this all throughout everywhere, probably. But you know, YouTube, there's it's all over the place. You kidding me? I mean, it's 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 so to to. I don't know. Uh, Gab is relatively small, but it has an avid user base. It was founded by entrepreneur uh, Andrew Torba about two years ago. The site says it has nearly 800,000 users. Meaning it's tiny compared to Twitter and Facebook, which is the yeah, I mean, the site's claim to fame is that users can post almost anything. And it is pretty much no holds barred. Anything goes. Anything goes. Even if the content is racist without being say, sanctioned, it puts nearly no restrictions on content. Bowers pro profile on the platform appeared to serve as an echo chamber for racist, anti Semitic, and bigoted ideology. Gab is denied supporting violence. It is it is. Uh, it said it has backed up Bauer's profile, suspended his account, and contacted the FBI. We have been smeared for working with law enforcement. Gab said on Twitter that it has been banned from using payment processors Stripe and PayPal, as well as as well as cloud hosting services service Joy Joyent Joyent. Uh, so that's you know that's a big one. And and GoDaddy's given them twenty four hours to you know, basically find, do their business elsewhere. I don't exactly know what they do there. I'm sure that maybe their name is, you know, registered with them. And so they have to, uh, I forget what you call that when you, uh, move your domain name from one place to another. GoDaddy, which allows people and companies to register internet addresses said a given gap 24 hours to move to a different service. The deadline will expire Monday night, Pacific central time. Specific standard time, standard central is start starts with a C. PayPal confirmed that it would not allow Gab to use its platform to manage donations from users. When a site explicitly allowing the per, uh, perpetuation of hate, violence, and discriminatory discriminatory intolerance, we can we take immediate and decisive action. PayPal said. Joyent and Medium did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Stripe said it would not comment on individual users. Medium also, uh, yeah, it said also publisher Medium also had also removed its post. Medium, uh, I have an account. I have an account with Gap, you know. I mean, I have an account, user, I have an account anywhere where there's a fairly decent, uh, uh, big social media place that, that, you know, allows you to display videos. The only one I pretty much do is, is YouTube because my time is limited. So... 
a couple things. You know what I found odd, and I had a theory about this, and I'll, I'll work on my theory because my theory kind of sucks at this point. But I have always, why has Alex Jones not sued right now? And uh, and I um, uh, I well, I mean I, I haven't seen any news about that, and maybe he very well may it, it maybe is, and maybe it's just the fact that these things are just they're financial monsters, so it's just impossible and it's futile, and they're just going it's just going to you know burn money for no reason to lose anyways or to win nothing. So maybe that's why not. I had a different idea and uh, I'm going to save that for my theory video, but I don't know if I'll ever get to my theory video. Basically, I thought I thought he was avoiding uh, discovery, you know, and uh, for, for reasons of my theory. But that makes me sound like I think, you know, I, I have a different theory though. I don't have time for it right now. The uh, the thing I wanted to say about the movie, the Lord of War movie, I was watching Owen Benjamin's video, one of his response videos to this situation, and uh, and I like Owen Benjamin a lot, and uh, you know, I mean, Owen Benjamin is going to do just fine. He's he's really talented, man, for sure. I like a lot of dudes. I love Sam Hyde, man. Sam Hyde and Owen Benjamin are probably my two favorite people on on that I've ever seen, and uh, Dave was like when I first saw. Both, you know, if I saw Sam Hyde first, I was just like, who is this guy? He's amazing, man. I just was so um, entertained and uh, people that said things that were, you know, were that others were afraid to say and with stuff like that. And, but, and, uh, and Aaron Benjamin sort of is, is also, you know, has a lot of philosophical thoughts that are very fascinating and awesome. But it comes down to this, man. It really does. There's a point in that movie, Lord of War, which is Nicolas Cage. I like Nicolas Cage a lot. And he's, uh, he's, a, he's an arms dealer. And it's based loosely on a, a real person, a Russian arms dealer. They eventually caught up to him not long ago. I think uh, either during the Obama administration. I think he finally he was in prison. But it doesn't matter. But at some point, you know, when, at the fall of the Soviet Union was a huge boom, boon for uh, – for arms dealers, illegal arms dealers, because now they had all these idle weapons that uh, didn't have a home. And uh, so, and he's Russian, this guy, and he has relatives all throughout the Russian government. And somebody who was overseeing a depot that housed tons and tons of weapons was a relative of his. And he was explaining, you know, how we're going to do this and, and whatever. And the guy was saying, well, what happens when the UN inspector comes? What happens when this government official comes? And what happens when this person comes? And they ask to see the books and they ask this. And he, and he keeps going on and on. And Nicolas Cage is not, uh, is not worried in the least. And eventually at the end of it, and he's just thinking about all the money he's going to make. And he's looking at, you know, he's just visualizing all the, uh, all the deals he's going to do. And eventually he answers the guy's complaint. And, and he just says, you know, we cut him in. And, and that's, 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 I think we're all doomed, sort of, because of that, dude. Because of, that is the long and short of everything, that no matter, um, and I'm sorry, man, it's not me, though. I mean, it's, you know, no matter principles and things that inspire people and, 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 and even people coming together and, 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 and standing for something and fighting for something, Eventually, um, you know, uh, people, if somebody's a real problem in some way to, to, to these huge technology companies, but whoever, you know, it's the government, they, they just cut them in, man. And then, and then you, you know, and that's all there is to it. And then it's over, you know. It's almost like, it's like the movie They Live where you have the elites that have, you know, that have teamed up with the aliens, you know, just so they can survive, you know, but just cut them in, man. it's not good, let's say we're doomed, maybe not, I could be wrong, I hope I'm wrong, thanks for watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like down below, and I'll see you in the next video, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, babe, can't you see that I am not afraid? Later, man.